Pierre Polyev swept the conservative leadership contest with an overwhelming victory Saturday. Polyev won 68% of the vote, placing first in all but eight of Canada's 338 electoral districts. 417,000 conservative members voted in the largest leadership election in Canadian history. In his speech to party members in Ottawa, he called for a government that will deliver results for Canadians. No wonder people are worried. Most are lucky to be just getting by. Many are falling behind. And there are people in this country who are just hanging on by a thread. These are citizens of our country. We are their servants. We owe them hope. They don't need a government that sneers at them, looks down on them, calls them names. They don't need a government to run their lives. They need a government that can run a passport office. They need a prime minister who hears them and offers them hope that they can again afford to buy a home, a car, pay their bills, afford food, have a secure retirement, and God forbid, even achieve their dreams if they work hard. They need a prime minister who will restore that hope, and I will be that prime minister. Polyev thanked his family and spoke of his dream for his own children. I want to thank my brother Patrick, my father Don, his partner Ross, my mother Marlene, and even my biological mother Jackie is here today. Yes. We're a complicated and mixed up bunch, like most families, like our country. I want to thank my parents though, in particular. I want to thank my parents, two school teachers, who adopted me from a teenage mother. They taught me that it didn't matter where I came from, but where I was going. It didn't matter who I knew, but what I could do. That is the hope I want my kids to inherit.